Hi! In today's video, I'm going to show you how to count how many times a value appears in a column in Excel. So you have a list of multiple values and would like to count how many times a certain value appears within the list. There are a few ways to use the count function and I'm going to guide you through each one individually. The count function counts the number of cells within a range with a numerical value. So let's say we'd like to count all of the values within column A. I would type equals count and then it asks you for value 1 which is your range that it needs to count in. But it says 0 now because remember count only counts numerical values. However, if we use count A, it will count all of the non-blank cells within the specified range. So let's go and we try equals count A and then it has the exact same syntax as count. So when we select column A, it will count everything within that range. This includes headings, so please remember that. Now, if we'd like to count column B rather, which has numerical values, that will work on the count side as well. So if we say equals count and column B, it does count all of the values within column B. The same goes for the count A function, as it counts all non-blank values within the given range. The result will be the exact same as the count function. Let me show you. But now I'd like to count only apples within this range. So now I'm going to need a count if function. So we start out by typing count if and you'll see it asks for a range. This range is the range where you want to count your information. Then we have to set the criteria. I'd like to count the amount of times Apple appears in my list. So I can either select the cell that contains the value that I want to count or I can manually type it out like this and I close the bracket. Now I'd like to count the amount of times Apple appears with a 12 in column B. So I start out with count if with an S so because that means I'm going to give more than one criteria. First off I give the criteria range 1 which is the same as the first count if function I tried. Then I give it the criteria, I want to count all of the apples, and then criteria 2, the range, I select column B, and the criteria I set as 12. So now it sees that apple appears 21 times in my list, but there are only 10 accounts of them that have a 12 in column B. We can do the same to count the amount of times Apple shows with a 25 in column B by saying count ifs, column A, Apple, column B, 25. Now you will see that the two amounts count to 21. This is an easy way to count values in Excel and no VBA is needed. That's it for this video and I hope I've been able to help you. But you're welcome to read the appended article for further guidance as I've detailed each step for you.